good day to all of you so today we will be dealing with the sonogashira coupling a very important reaction often asked in the NEET, NEET exams, the NET exams etc and moreover it has great importance by way of synthesis and its applications we will be studying it under these following headings introduction conditions mechanism regio and stereochemistry applications and limitations this reaction was first of all reported in tetrahedron letters in the year 1975 and named after kenkichi sonogashira since then it has gained great importance and new work is continuously being added to it new findings variations modifications to this reactions and uh, it's uh, often said that many of the reactions which are organometallic catalyzed reactions to couple alkynes they are termed as sonogashira although conditions may vary so it's very useful in the formation of cc bonds to form complex compounds so what exactly is this uh, sonogashira reaction it is a coupling of terminal alkynes remember terminal alkynes with an aryl or a vinyl halide how in the presence of the palladium catalyst and uh, copper as co-catalyst using a base the base generally which is used is either uh, triethyl amine or diethyl amine besides this of course other bases at times have been also used so we can write it as such here goes the mechanism as can be seen the aryl halide together with the alkyne in the presence of the palladium catalyst in the second stage copper iodide trialkylamine giving rise to this carbon carbon coupled product or we can generalize it as such writing it as rx with the alkyne and we can uh, designate the catalyst as a palladium pre catalyst because palladium in the zero valent state is not stable in these conditions so generally it is uh, taken in the form of pd2 and then from this the activated or the active catalyst is obtained cux and the base giving rise to this uh, coupled product as far as the conditions go here as has been said and we've shown it by way of these uh, simple equations that the solvent which is used the first and foremost condition the solvent which is used is di or triethyl amine dimethyl formamide or ether has also been used of late and a number of uh, uh, varied lab experiments to synthesize this in different conditions as a variant of sonogashira because this uses a mild reaction conditions and it uses a broad range of substituents so it's a very versatile reaction the catalyst used is palladium 2 and this is a pre catalyst because this is converted or from this we obtain palladium in the zero valent state in the presence of the base now copper which is used copper 1 is used as a co-catalyst we will soon see how and vinyl halides generally because as we've said it's a coupling reaction vinyl halides coupled to, to these uh, terminal alkynes besides vinyl halides aromatic halides aryl halides are also used but vinyl halides are more reactive and the order of reactivity goes as such the iodide 
more reactive than the triflate, more reactive than the bromide, more reactive than the chloride. And similar order, as we can see, is followed for the aromatic. And as I've stressed and is seen that the vinyl halides are more reactive than the aryl halides. Let's see how the mechanism then operates. The mechanism is operating using two cycles. There are two cycles to this mechanism. One is the palladium cycle and the other is the copper cycle. I have tried to simplify it. So the palladium pre-catalyst is converted to this compound or the catalyst rather. No, it's not a compound, it's a catalyst A. That is palladium in the zero valent state. This palladium in the zero valent state is then by means of oxidative addition. How? In the presence of the alkyl halide, it is converted into compound B. The compound B then, with the help of copper acetylide. Now, how is this copper acetylide formed? This we can see in the copper cycle simultaneously. This copper cycle, how does it operate? We have taken the copper, this halide, copper halide, that is CUX D, which I have denoted as D. This in the presence of the base and the alkyne. This is converted into copper acetylide. The base is there and we know that acetylenes, high S character, electronegative. So this H and since copper is also at the same time drawing these pi electrons, pi electrons are being drawn. So carbon withdraws electrons from hydrogen. Hydrogen is given off as H positive. In other words, this acid generation is neutralized by means of the base because that's the importance of the base. So it is neutralized. And this we can see E where the copper halide is forming, trying to form rather the copper acetylide. How by elimination or by deprotonation. And this uh, on deprotonation, so H with CUX will form HX. In other words, as the medium becomes acidic, it is neutralized by the base which is present. The base can be any, it can be diethylamine, triethylamine, it can be ether, it can be formamide, so dimethylformamide. And we get this F, the product F, that is the copper acetylide. Let's come back now to the earlier cycle, that is the palladium cycle. This is how copper acetylide was formed by means of copper halide, copper halide reacting with the terminal acetylene to form HX and itself changing into copper acetylide. This copper acetylide by transmetallation is converted into compound C. We can see these ligands, the two ligands which are attached to palladium together with this group R1 dash and at the same time transmetallation that is earlier on it was the copper see here it was the copper which was attached to R double dash. Now transmetallation copper has been displaced or removed 
by palladium. So transmetallation. Now the work of our copper co-catalyst is over and since with this the X which was attached it changed copper into CuX. In other words what's happening? What is happening simply is this is acting as a carrier this co-catalyst. It's carrying the acetylide towards the palladium and hence forming a new bond with palladium at the same time palladium which had the X halide attached to it with copper was eliminated in the form of CuX that is our co-catalyst is regenerated and this new bond with the acetylene is forming with palladium that is C. This complex C is formed. Now this complex C by means of cis trans isomerization as can be seen is converted into the final product. How? By means of reductive elimination. Reductive eliminations since we get our catalyst, palladium catalyst back. So here PD with the ligands is eliminated and the bond between the carbon and this vinyl or aryl whatever it may be R1 dash is formed. So the coupled reaction is complete and we get the product. As now as far as uh, in this mechanism the regio and stereochemistry is convert we will see how it is this regio and stereochemistry is dealt with because see regio isomers structural isomers huh? so when the reaction can occur at more than one site leading to these structural isomers so at which site are regio isomers formed what happens the, about the regio and the stereochemistry see this is the compound if the compound uh, this has to be taken into consideration only when we have two possible sites of attack like in this case as we can see with this isoquinoline derivative 2 bromo and 4 iodo so the attack can take place by the acetylide it can attack or it can be added at either of these two positions that is either where Br is present or where I is present hence the regiochemistry. So what will happen as we all know because the iodide better leaving group so the compound which will be formed the product which will be formed definitely Br will not be the one which will be eliminated rather than that rather than Br it will be the iodide which will be displaced by this acetylide and see this acetylide is shown trimethylsalyl protection because this is used for protection a very very good group for the protection of acetylenes finds wide application in protection because it can be protected and deprotected under these normal conditions the con or normal conditions that one is using mild conditions so we get this product so rather than the br it is basically the i which has been displaced and a new bond formed between the carbon of this aromatic ring and the acetylene another example what happens when we have two similar two similar groups that is uh, if both are Cl on this ring if both uh, groups are Cl in that case because now they have the same sort of property unlike I and Br or I and Cl where one is more reactive than the other in this case it will be the attack of the acetylite will be at the more electrophilic site. So the more electrophilic site will be attacked 
and here this will be the product which will be formed. So these are the conditions and if any one of you, you are interested, this is the reference by Deng X and uh, Mani NS uh, which was published in Organic Letters in the year 2006. So you can refer to this. There are a number of treaties on the, this important reaction, Sonogashira. Number of treaties which you can uh, refer to and extend your knowledge even to the different applications part. Let's come to the applications briefly. Hmm? The applications as such, first in the solar cells, see, solar cells. So, or in organo uh, photovoltaics, this reaction finds a vast use. You can read up the site, which I have indicated, NCBI, NLM, NIH dot GOV. So, in, uh, entire method as to how the photovoltaics, organophotovoltaics, how this solar cells, they are being used based on this uh, reaction, this very important reaction. The other application is on uh, pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals, tazeroutine, it's being regularly used for psoriasis condition and for acne. The third application is in natural products. The fourth in agrochemicals and the fifth in nanomaterials. So these are all the applications of uh, Sonogashira reaction. Now last but not least we come to the limitations. The limitations are always discussed last. Kami jo hoti hai, wo last mein kahi jayegi. Shuru mein hi kami kahe de to reaction mein kya interest hai? But yes, definitely, all the reactions have their limitations. We have to know as to which conditions, what are suitable. So copper, of course, copper is used. Though now there are a number of known reactions modified Sonogashira reactions where copper which we can say are copper free because you know copper is not environment friendly this is the reason so this is the limitation moreover homocoupling can take place that is homocoupling with these copper acetylides which are formed they can couple amongst themselves and the third uh, limitation is uh, whenever copper free reactions are carried on uh, then they require a loading of bases such as these amines. So this is uh, not uh, something which is very much acceptable. So these are the limitations. I hope you have understood Sonogashira reaction, a very important synthetic reaction as far as synthesis goes, which uses mild reaction conditions, a broad range of substituents and is very versatile, finds many applications and is often asked in a number of exams due to its applications in a number of fields. So stay safe, stay healthy. I'll be giving you assignments soon.